Hey everybody, Wooda here today from Banana Phones Productions, and today I'm going to take a quick look at Terra, the possible races and classes you can choose from, and basically show you how I plan on playing one of my characters, at least a little bit on the first island, so you can see, kind of get a good feel about how this game is going to be. Um, a couple notes right now, this is in the first beta, and the high def texture pack has not been released yet, that is supposed to come out on the next beta test, which this game is stunning already, so I can't wait to see how it's going to look once I get that HD texture pack. So quickly we're going to look at this, and this is the first screen you get after you go through everything. Uh, this is where your server selection is. Currently there's only two servers, um, you can only have a maximum of one character per server, which I'm sure later on will be different, but this is just for the beta. Um, once you, when you go into your options here, go to typical options, help settings, mouse, you know, all this regular stuff. Audio, everything's different. And for video. Like I said, this game has stunning graphics already. Um, just beautiful, so pretty refreshing game. Things that are really, really cool, that I really, really like. Um, right here, auto adjust effects levels while in a group. Basically what this does is you can have your graphics cranked up when you're running solo, but if you're running in a group and it, you got lots of like, I don't know, sorcerers or something, just really, really big spells and if your computer's not super, super good, you can turn that on and it'll lower their settings while you're in a group. So you're not getting lag all the time whenever you're running in groups. Now the cool one here, overpopulation, overpopulation optimization. Uh, with that selected, basically when you're in a major city, um, it'll lower your settings as well. So you're not get, running around towns at like 3 FPS trying to get from point A to point B. Uh, UI settings. UI is, is scalable, which is wicked. Pretty good customization stuff you can do on here. Um, this game does do a lot more than other games like, for example, Star Wars. Uh, Old Republic, you know, you're so limited on bars, you couldn't add any more bars, which one thing I really didn't like is, of course, level 8, you get like 10 skills already. It's like, great, okay, where am I going to put all these? But this here, you can put tons of bars in, um, everything is scalable, so it's really, really nice. So we're going to head up and pick our server. going to go with Serpentis Isle for now. Pretty cool little warp. And this is your character creation screen. As you can see, everything right now looks really, really nice. Pretty well done for just being a beta. Um, of course, to get into this beta, you need to either pre-order or get a key from somewhere else. So, I'm going to go ahead here and make a new character. So, here are your races. You have seven to choose from. You have humans. You have... Kassanix, these guys are pretty funky. I guess these are probably the, from what I understand on the Korean side, these are the most played race. You have the Amon, or Amon, probably pronounced that incorrectly. Pretty sweet looking too. You got your Papori, which is interesting, but it's Badger, so it's instantly awesome. You have your Ellen, which I don't know if if you're a grown adult. Um, I think you might get a visit from Chris Hansen, but that's just me. You have Baraka, which is a big hunk of something. Um, watching him ride a horse is really painful to watch. I really feel sorry for horses. And then of course, what game doesn't have an elf? So you get your high elf on this side. Now each of these different races um, have their own set of racial abilities, both passive and active. Each, they aren't like game breaking different, so they're they're pretty minor things, like one will give you you can have 100% health um, as an active ability every two hours. High Elves, for example, one of their actives is that whenever I need to, once every two hours, I can hit a button and uh, get full mana. So, you know, I'm planning on running a healer, so I could see that 
might coming in handy down the road, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick myself a high elf. <laughs> 